God, I so prefer um, the interface on the um, iPhone than on the um, laptop. Um, invite right bottom corner. Um, how does Skype contact? It's there. I love him to death, but I'm getting really sick and tired of Lachlan just not showing up and then going, oh, shit, yeah, I'm really sorry. And so I always send this message like, um, I should just invoice you <laughs> because you've just not turned up. Um, and he's like, yeah, you should, you should. And I'm like, actually, it's going to get to a point where it's a bit like Harry that was, who I'm very, very fond of. But these young people, it's like, OK, once is fine, because God, we're all human. But to literally forget your friend class that you love doing three weeks in a row. No. I'm like, holy shit, get your shit together. You know what I mean? Like, that is just epic. <laughs> but I really like the kid. Um, so but I'm just, yeah, you can like people, but still be like, come on, you know. So um, good. Um, uh, Susan's ringing, is she not? Um, um, I, I, let's, is, what's going on? Are you there again, Nina? I'm here. Mm -hmm. Susan's having problems joining us. <laughs> oh. I don't know why, because she's been called. Um, um, let's try. Um, let's do a copy link. Let's send her a separate link rather than the one that she's already got. Susan Monroe, let's do that. Oh, is she there? Susan, did I just see you flash up? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, good, 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 good. Sorry. Good. Sorry. Good. So Luke is there. Let me just check. Um, um, let me just try on the phone. By the way, did you see the recording I left in the group about the woman in the garden centre? You might enjoy that. Um, yeah, I just started listening to it. <clears throat> I could tell she was like, do you want a coffee at the end of it? I was like, normally I'm the most chatty person, but like, I actually have to go. I had to go and teach. Yeah. Lachlan? Get your ass into the Skype meeting now. There's a group one. Come and just do some French to warm up. Yeah, even if you do 10 minutes, it will warm your damn mouth up for this interview thing you've got to do. Yes. OK, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to send you a link in your Skype and there should already be a link there. Yeah. Lachlan, wear a wear a T-shirt because it's like in front of other people. Yeah. So, um, okay. well, I don't know. I mean, you know, they're both women of the world. They both had boys. But yeah. So, um, uh, yeah. Come online and just warm your mouth up. Yes, good. Um, don't tell anybody I'm a nice person. I have a reputation to maintain. Um, uh, good. So off you go, um, uh, Susan. Is Maggie coming? Yes. Say that again, Nina. Sorry, my love. Is Maggie coming? No, she's away. She's got oh. um, Easter kid stuff. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So off you go, Susan. Um, Maggie told me she wasn't going to come, but um, I wanted to do it anyway. Maggie told me she wasn't going to come, but I wanted to do it anyway. Uh, Maggie m'a dit qu'elle ne viendrait pas, qu'elle ne viendra pas, mais je l'ai voulu faire quand même. J'ai voulu le faire. J'ai voulu le faire quand même. This business of if you've got an infinitive preposition to the end. Oui, Maggie m'a dit qu'elle venait pas. Um, um, it's this business as well, as well of indirect versus direct quoting. So it's like, Maggie told me to be Maggie. I will not come. Ma Maggie m'a dit qu'elle viendrait, but she wouldn't come. Yeah. Maggie told me I am not coming. Maggie told me she wasn't coming. So th it's the appropriate tense for direct to indirect quotation. And that would be the same in French. So Maggie m'a dit, je ne viens pas. Maggie m'a dit, Maggie m'a dit qu'elle ne venait pas. Maggie told me, je ne viendrai pas. Will, spelling. Maggie m'a dit, 
qu'elle ne viendrait pas, she wouldn't come. You know, so there's an appropriate conversion tense from the indirect to the direct. Okay, um, where's Lachlan on his own? There's the link, there's the link, get your ass there. Um, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. All right, um, good. Uh, Susan, uh, I want the kid to come so that he's so he can have a warm up for his interview. I want the kid to come so he can have a warm up, warm -up for his interview. Uh, je veux que le gosse vienne parce qu'il doit se, se préchauffer. Pause, pause, pause. I know you all desperately in love with Pasca, but Pasca? This ain't marriage, Susan. We can have a bit of fun and play around. We don't just need Pasca. Yeah, um, not, not because. So I want Lachlan to come so that. Okay. Uh, which is what? What so that? Um, uh, que... Good, because it's a different person. Because Lukey wants Lachlan to come so that he's, yeah, up you go. So I want Lachlan to come so that he's ready for his, so he can have a bit of a warm up for his interview. I'm sorry, Susan, I can't hear you. Susan, I can't hear you. Je veux pour Lachlan à venir pour qu'il puisse avoir un petit temps de, pour réchauffer avant de son cours. Go again before I lay, lay into that. <laughs> Just go again. Nina, remind me the shit that took place in that sentence. Go again. Uh, je veux que Lachlan uh... Je veux que Lachlan venir pour que je... Stand still. The hideousness of it cannot rest. Je veux que... Gets followed by what? The subjunctive. Does it now? What did you do? The first time you did à venir, hey Lachlan, and the second time you did venir. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? This is why we join shit up. Now, there's some interesting stuff happening and you're going to some new errors because the voice has gone into a nice place with you, Susan. So I understand that when we're playing games with voice, that sometimes some weird shit happens. But there ain't any weird shit that justifies je veux que Lachlan à venir. Okay, off you go. I want Lachlan to come. Also, Susan, why are we saying so that he's ready before his interview? Why have I got avant de anywhere near a noun? Yeah? What would I need after avant de Susan? Uh, a, a verb. In what form, my love? In the um, infinitive. Good. Yeah. Okay. So lovely. So go again. So I want Lachlan to come so that he's your little step around of warm up. The word is préchauffement, préchauffement, préchauffé, but whatever. So that he's ready or so that he's warmed up for his interview. Go on. Uh, Je veux que Lachlan vienne pour qu'il puisse avoir entendre réchauffement avant que son... Avant que, we've now gone into the other avant que, we've gone all the avant que. Slow it down, slow it down. Your brain is coming up super fast, exciting, with suggestions. Don't take the first suggestion. Yeah? Again, like marriage. <laughs> okay. Some of us go with the first choice and then we ran, <laughs> we paid off. So off you go. Uh, je veux que Lachlan vienne. Slow it down, you're not slowing it down. That's not slowing it down. Je veux que Lachlan vienne pour qu'il puisse avoir un réchauffement. Avant... I said slow it down, you're not in a coma. Apologies to anybody who's in a coma. Uh, <laughs> when you wake up, you'll hear all about it. Off you go. Yeah, go on. Be human, but just chill. Do you want me to start at the very beginning again? Yes, Julie Andrews, I do, because it's a very good place to start. But can you just make it human, but just, what? But just not. It's not a bad thing that the consonants fly out of your mouth so quickly. It's a nice thing. It's a nice thing. It's, it's, it, we haven't got tripping up over consonants. But if you're going that little smidge more slowly, why not combine our efforts and turn it into a vowel? Strengthening exercise as well. It just gives us that little bit of an option to, oh, which, we're galloping, we're galloping, we're galloping. Where's the whole, oh, panic, panic, panic. 
a nice gentle canter. I can see I'm going to go left. I tell my horse I'm going to go left. I've got time to tell the horse I go this way rather than, <clears throat> you know, yeah, slow it down a touch. Off you go. Je veux que la plaine vienne pour qu'il puisse avoir un réchauffement avant de son entretien. Avant de what? Avant so with I, so save me before do save me before doing his class save me before doing before doing his interview avant avant de that's fine because we've got avant de plus a verb now it's incredibly basic but just save me before his interview it's still quite permissible save me before his interview avant son entretien that's lovely good entretien entretien Entretien. But you do hear interview loads as well. Good. Lachlan, Luke, thank you for having thought of me. I don't deserve it. I'm a lazy fuck. Thank you for having thought of me. I don't deserve it. I'm a lazy fuck. Uh, Luke, uh, merci d'avoir uh, pensé de à moi. Good, good, good. Lovely. Um, so, uh, pensé uh, à moi. Was that correction? Good. Lovely. Okay. Um, I don't deserve it. Je ne le, je ne le mérite pas. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Again, you slow it down just a touch. It's not patronizing slowing it down as well because it gets to show off the vowels. Yeah, je ne le mérite pas. Lovely. Because I'm a lazy fuck. Parce que je suis, uh, je suis un, uh, un feignant. Un feignant. Feignant. Un putain de feignant. Un putain de, un, un putain de, oh. sorry, un putain de feignant. Okay, good. Next, Lachlan. Um, but how would you say thank you for thinking of it? Thank you for thinking of it. Here's your clue. Merci d'avoir pensé à quelque chose. Merci d'avoir pensé à quelque chose. How would you say thank you for thinking of it? Merci d'avoir y pensé. Lovely. Merci. Is it merci d'avoir y pensé, pensé or merci d'y avoir pensé? Merci d'y avoir pensé. Because here we go all together in unison. Bits before verbs except before the infinitive. And on those arrangements, the infinitive is sitting in the middle. Why is it a particular brand of fucker with avoir pensé? Because pensé, past participle, sounds like pensé infinitive, doesn't it? So your brain goes, I know a song where you go, y pensé. You know that song, yeah, all sing it together. Je vais y penser. So merci d'y avoir pensé, okay? Good. Well done, Lachlan. Okay. Um, it would be useful for me to speak in French a bit. It would be useful for me to speak in French a bit. Um, ce serait utile pour moi um, parler en français un peu. Good. Now, is your interview in France? No. Est-il en, en France, tu as ton entretien? Is it going to take place online or via Zoom or whatever? Aurait-il lieu? Let's do an inversion, although I'm not normally a fan. Aurait-il lieu? Uh, en ligne? I imagine so. J'imagine que oui. What technical problems do we want to kind of factor in? Qu'est-ce qu'on veut considérer comme problème technique? Sound, you know, um, or volume kind of thing. So what I'm asking you to do with pushing your voice in France is particularly fucking vital in a telephone, whatever. C'est urgent. C'est hyper. C'est primordial. So use your voice and go a little bit more slowly. Give them the French. Don't be nervous, nervous. Oui, je m'appelle Lachlan. Oui, madame, alors je voudrais, j'ai toujours voulu passer du temps en France. Get used to resting in the previous vowel Lachlan anyway. And B, if you're doing, a, if you're doing an interview, fella, just, they won't catch you. They just won't catch you. They just won't catch you over the phone. Anybody my age and above, we just don't hear the treble sounds as well, okay? Really, really. So slow it down and particularly speak into your microphone and push the voice forward. So everything I'd ask you guys to do normally to help you in France is particularly useful over the telephone and um, in a, a Zoom situation. Also, the majority of the French that you've done, you've done with me, who knows your voice, yeah? Um, do you know what I mean? And this person doesn't know your voice in French, okay? So say for me, Luke, you're right. The person I'm going to speak with isn't as familiar um, as you with my voice. Luke, you're right, the person I'm going to speak with um, isn't as familiar as you with my voice. 
Luke, tu as raison. Euh, oh, right, so push, push the vibration. Tu as raison. Lachlan, <coughs> French isn't for you. Who's uh -huh. French for? The person you're speaking to. Push it forward. Push it forward. Uh, Luke, uh, tu as raison. Um, uh, tu as raison. Um, the person I'm going to be speaking with. Uh, la personne avec qui uh, je parlerai. Um, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to be speaking with. Try and be a bit neater, you guys. If it uses go plus an infinitive, here's a random idea. Use go plus an infinitive, all right? La personne avec qui je vais parler, lovely, will not be as familiar as you with my voice. Uh, you ne vais pas comme... ba, 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 ba. Will not be. We don't need... So, number one, we are in will not. What comment did I literally just say? When we use a will, use a ray ra wrong. Yeah? Fuck mm. where there's a will, there's a way. When there's a will, there's a ray ra wrong. All right? Um, will not be. And we don't need to start a subject pronoun again. We could say, cette personne, you know, elle ne sera pas. But no, no, no. N just straight away, ne sera pas. So, won't be as familiar as me. Off you go. Ne, euh, ne sera pas comme habitué. Pas, 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 pas. No, no, as familiar. Com... No, com... no, comme habitué. No. Mm. no, you can say comme as many times as you want. It ain't going to get correct. Um, Pause. Save me, Lachlan is. Save me, Lachlan is tall. Lachlan est uh, grand. Good. Save me, Lachlan is small. Lachlan est petit. Save me, Lachlan is as tall as his sister. Lachlan est, est, est comme grand. Say no. comme and I'll slap you. Lachlan est grand. No, aussi grand. Aussi, yeah. Aussi Listen grand. to the sentence in English. There are two as. Susan is as addicted to heroin as John. Okay, Susan is as whatever, excited, as John, about the holiday. We have two as's. We have the as, which pre precedes the adjective. Let's call it adjective as, because that's what we've always fucking done. And then we've got the as, which is going to link us as Nina, as Luke, as Susan. So adjective, as, or C. Mm -hmm. A, A, A. Such a shame, Maggie's saying I can't even use an A, A joke. So basically, Luke is as weird as whatever, Daniel or something, you know, Luke est aussi bizarre. All right. So let's go again. So um, uh, what was my sentence as Nina, fill me. What was I asking about as uh, Luke is so the person will not be as familiar as you just say the person will not be as familiar as you. La personne ne sera pas aussi habituée comme toi. Now pause, toi. pause. Go back to Lachlan is bigger than Luke. Lachlan est plus grand que Luke. Lachlan is smaller than Luke. Lachlan est plus petit que Luke. Lovely, nice mag position. Which word came before Luke? And Nina and Susan. What, in other words, what's the second as? Um, Go again. Lachlan est plus petit que. Good. So the second as oh, is a si. que. Yeah. Okay. Not come, which is what people always want to say. Mm -hmm. um, um, which comes a little bit in Spanish as well. Yeah. You know, tanda de como. You know, no, que, que, que. All right. So I'd love to be able to say it's the comparison. But no, no, no. So um, he's as mad as Luke. Il est aussi dingue que Luke. So say for me, isn't as familiar as Luke. Isn't, um, keep it in the present tense, is not as familiar as Luke. Um, il n'est pas, il, il n'est pas aussi, uh, aussi habitué que Luke. Lovely, o aussi familier que Luke. Lovely, aussi All right? familier. good, lovely. Nina, um, uh, I think it's a good idea to say something in French before this kind of thing. I think it's a good idea to say something in French before this kind of thing. Je pense que c'est une bonne idée de dire quelque chose en France, en français avant ce genre de choses. 
gorgeous. When I think about what happened last time, it makes me nervous. When I think about what happened last time, it makes me nervous. Euh, quand je pense euh, de ce qui s'est passé euh, la dernière fois, euh, ça, ça me fait inquiéter. Pause. Quand je pense... Dot, dot, dot. Euh, quand je pense à... Good. Not just because we had de and I look a dissatisfied bitch. Because... À. Okay. Keep, oh, did I say de? Keep, yeah, keep de for questions. Keep yes. all opinions. Luke, qu'est-ce que tu penses de la situation en Ukraine? Uh, um, um, you know, so this is a really dumb way to think about it as well. De is a short, de is a longer word than a. So de is big thinking. Luke, qu'est-ce que tu penses de whatever? Oh, Nina, I thought of you today because I saw a woman that did gymnastics. Alors, j'ai pensé à. To a shorter mm -hmm. word. All right, up you go. So um, when I so when I think about what happened last time, it makes me nervous. When I think about what I don't even, don't even know what last time we're on about, but let's just go with it. So when I think about what happened last time, it makes me nervous. Uh, quand je pense à ce qui s'est se, passé la dernière fois, uh, ça me fait uh, inquiéter. Ça me ça me rend inquiété. Um, ça me Some uh, nervous. Now you can generally be nervous. What's the word? Oh, for nervous? okay. Ça, ça me, ça me, ça me rend nerveuse. I'm a man now. Ah, ça me rend nerveux. Good. So a couple of points. Point number one, nerveux. nerveux. Point number two, translate for men. You've got two sons. You would need to translate the opinions of men. You know, yeah. nerveux. Yeah, be comfortable. Point number two. Point number three, rather. Um. Rendre goes into an adjective. What is yeah. the adjective of worried? Ouf. Not the verb of worried. Right. Um, so in other words, je suis uh, blank. What is it? Inquiet ou inquiet. Or, uh, 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 inquiet. Inquiet. Or inquiet. Yeah. Okay. So why is this a particular little fucker? Because most of the time, when you have an ed on the end of an adjective, it tells us it's from the past tense, doesn't it? And mm. the verb to worry, as you know very well, is inquiété. Yeah. So you go, I am worried, je suis inquiété, but it's not. So I've been talking about this concept today, which is rather than learning something, um, learn a don't do. I know this sounds really dumb. It's it's kind of a weird way to work, but learn a, uh -uh. like learn a, I always do that, don't do that, rather than I want to go into that, I want to go into that. So don't ever say, je suis inquiété. Yeah. Yeah. For ladies, it's quite safe. Je suis inquiète or je m'inquiète. Yeah. Mm. But if you're saying rendre, you're going to be following rendre with a adjective. So mm. ça me rend inquiet. Mm. However, if you have a strong emotion, I think we said this on Tuesday, on, on, on Wednesday, didn't we, Susan? If you have a strong emotion, it normally has its own fucking verb. So instead of saying that makes me tired, which you can in theory say, what mm -hmm. do you think you'd say? Uh, in three words. Fatigant. In three words, some... Uh, some are fatigué. Present tense, some of... Are... Some are fatigue. That's lovely. That okay. makes me annoyed. I mean, if I could only imagine such an emotion. <laughs> Let me dig deep. Emotional yeah. memory, emotional memory. No, I can't find it. I can't find it. Uh, off you go. Um, uh, I'm as cool as the blue warm. <laughs> blue warm. <laughs> so basically, um, if we said, um, oh, Susan, I didn't think we went with blue because I said to you pick a colour that you like, whatever. Um, but um, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so if I said it makes me annoyed, we're mo much more likely to say it annoys me, which would be? Sun, I guess. Yes, ça m'agace, ça m'énerve, whatever, okay? Or ça me fait chier, okay? Um, uh, so you could say ça me fait, you know, ça me fait, whatever, inquiété. No, 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 ça m'inquiète, yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, quite a common one. All right, good. Lachlan, no, Susan again. Um, I need to pour acid in the sink. 
I genuinely do. <laughs> I need to pour acid in the sink. Je vais avoir besoin de... I, I need right now. I need right now. I need to pour acid in the sink. Uh, J'ai besoin de verser de l'acide dans la... Now, pause, pause, pause. I'm going to give you a way out of this. It's a sink in a bedroom, which is kind of weird, but it's a Victorian house. Um, 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 and it's kind of useful when you just kind of want to splash your face in the morning and stuff or, you know... Um, if you've maybe had friends over <laughs> and you kind of, you know, it's just like, yeah, it's quite useful. Just, yeah, just whatever. Yeah, it's cool. When I first came, I was like, why is there a hand basin in the damn room? You know, but, but yeah, whatever. I guess, yeah, it's, it's quite good. Uh, yeah. So what's the word for a, a, like a small sink that you'd wash your face with or your hands with? What's that one called? Starting with L. Lavable. Well, the lavable said in French, lavable. Lavable. So lovely. So je, so je dois, j'ai besoin de verser de l'acide. Lovely, because it isn't all acid and it's not a named quantity of acid. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And it starts with a vowel. So de l'acide, lovely. Uh, you know, dans le lavable. OK. Um, um, I diluted it first, but I don't want to block it with the paint from yesterday because I just poured some very, very diluted paint down the sink. But I just want to swill it through. So say for me, I diluted it first, but I don't want to block it with the paint from yesterday. Uh, première, je l'ai fait moins fort, mais je ne veux pas uh, uh, le bloquer avec le paint d'hier. Pause. I'd have understood you, which is the main thing. What's the word for paint? Paint. You are a painter, so you need the shit down. Say for me, the painter is going to paint the painting with paint. Then say the same thing. No, the, say for me, the painter, yeah, the painter is going to paint the painting with paint. And then say, the painter has painted the painting with paint. Le peintre va peindre la peinture avec du pain. Damn, I haven't got a cup of tea. You know my cup of tea moments where I'm like, what have I got to drink? Acid. <laughs> hmm. Le ou la peintre. Yeah. Va peindre with the D. Yeah. La peinture avec de la peinture. So the thing that you oh that's a canvas print, but whatever. Yeah. But the thing that you'd um the thing that you'd look at. Let's bring up my lovely blue because I've worked so hard. Oh shit, now where the fuck do I go to turn off? Um, uh, change background. What's this going to do? Uh, 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 where's that? It's so easy on the, um, so easy on the iPhone. Where's it on the phone? Um, uh, otherwise I won't bother. Uh, no, I'll play with it in a bit. Um, um, yeah, so peintre person, peindre verb. La peinture, the picture, de la peinture, the substance. Now, what is I have painted? J'ai peint. J'ai peint. What is we paint? Nous peignons. Therefore, what is I was painting? Uh, J'ai peigné. I was painting. Je, oh, je, uh, je peigné. So I'm all for a bit of art, but... The main reason we want this shit down is because it's demonstrative of vowel I N D R E verbs, isn't it? Lovely. Uh, Susan, say for me, uh, I'm going to join Lachlan and Luke in the park. I'm going to join Lachlan and Luke in the park. Uh, je vais rejoindre Luke et Lachlan au parc. Good, okay. Did you see it? I fear Lachlan she put me first. I did I did let you go first, but yeah. Okay. Um uh what was your in the park again? Au parc. Nice listening. Au parc. Yeah. Come away from Don. Stay away from the light, Caroline. Stay away from the light. Go towards the ah and shit. Yeah. That girl died, didn't she? Like half of that fucking film. That was really bad, the poltergeist stuff. Um uh lovely. Um how would you say um uh, I joined them in the park. I joined them in the park. 
Je les rejoins. That's it. The past participle of all these and verbs is just the same as the he, she. Good. Lovely. Say so for me, I need to pay, I need to pay attention to this kind of thing because I make use of it all the time as a painter. I need to pay attention to this kind of thing because I make use of it all the time as a painter. Uh, J'ai besoin de faire attention à ce genre de choses tout le temps parce que, parce que je suis uh, peinture. Je suis parce que je suis you are as pretty as a picture, Susan, but I am a painter. Je suis peintre. Well done. You also gave me a hideous bastard of two things together. With I absolutely loved, which was Casca, which was Karen Pasca, which was seriously how that has never been uttered is beyond me because that's just fucking magnificent. Casca, I might, I might keep that. Um, yeah, that's cool, man. That's fucking quality. Good. Um, so, faire attention à ce genre de choses parce que lovely. And what's the elegant version of as a? Lachlan, you can use this in an interview, like as a student or as a whatever, as an American. What's the formal version of as a, Susan? Uh, would it be comme? That's not particularly formal, is it? I guess not. En tant que. En tant que. As a teacher, en tant que prof. Yeah. Tant is linked etymologically to étant, yeah, yeah. Being a teacher, étant prof, which you can say, but that's really a bit heavy, heavy headed. Good luck, Lou. Um, I've got to go, bye-bye. Bye-bye, well done, well done. Good. Uh, Lizzie surprised me this week because she asked to learn the passé simple. I nearly fell to the fucking floor. Lizzie. Yeah. Uh, Lizzie surprised me this week because she asked to learn the passé simple. Um, Lizzie m'a surpris parce que cette semaine uh, elle m'a demandé um, si she elle asked me to learn. Elle m'a demandé apprendre le le passé simple. Now this is where you need a bit of trickery because Luke asked me to learn would mean. Luke asked me for me to then go and learn. And it's mm. Luke asked me to do it. Luke m'a demandé de le faire. So, elle m'a demandé si c'était possible de faire. Lovely, lovely, the passé simple. The passé simple. Okay. Lovely. Um, um, look how elegant Nina looks on the phone. She's like one of those like Liechtenstein paintings. She, you know, I'll call you Bob. <laughs> do you know what I mean? She, do you know what I mean? Or whatever it was. <laughs> it looks really cool. Uh, um, yeah, very elegant. Um, uh, Lovely. Um, yeah. Uh, she said it would be a good idea. She said she wanted to do it so that she can read books. She said she wanted to do it so that she can read books. Elle a dit qu'elle voulait uh, le faire parce que... Force, fall out of love with Pasco. It isn't the only conjunction between two clauses. Mm -hmm. So that okay. Okay. pause or is it? Oh, so that you know a little. Okay, touch your touch your pulse. Okay, your pulse is about to go up. Avant and après. <laughs> You remember that with avant and après, we had a decision to make over whether we were going to do avant de or avant que. Well, après avoir, après être, or après que. Yes? Mm -hmm. And what was the overriding thing that helped us decide whether or not we were going to go with one or the other? Whether it was the same person or a different person. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The same shit is with pour que. Mm -hmm. Same person, don't do it. Don't do it. Because what else does pour que generate, Lachlan? It generates the... Uh, subjunctive. Spot on, fella. So Lachlan's coming to France so that he can speak French. Lachlan va venir en France pour pouvoir parler mm -hmm. en français. Lachlan's mm -hmm. coming to France so that Luke can slap some French into him. Lachlan va venir en France pour que Luke, ding, 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 change of character. Whereas mm -hmm. English says so that for both people. 
Yeah, all the time. We say so that for both people. So say for me, Nina left Nina, Nina, Nina left the room so that Nina could take a call. Yeah. Um, uh, um, no, no, no. Let's let's put keep it all in the present tense. Nina's Nina's leaving the room so that she can take a call. Nina is leaving the room so that she can take a call. Uh, Nina part la chambre pour Good, pause, voir. pardon me. Par is fine, but remember, par and so need a de. Nina part de la chambre. I left the house. J'ai quitté. La maison. Je suis parti de la maison. All right. So remember with remember with coming in and coming out. That's all I did at your age. Uh, so basically, <laughs> so basically, je suis entré dans several people. Je suis parti de. I left. So je, I entered the shop. Je suis entré dans. Okay. Um, you know, uh, I entered the room. Je suis entré dans. La, you know, je suis parti de. Yeah, so you've got the two Ds, all right? Good. So Nina left the room. Nina's leaving the room, present tense, so that she, but the same person, can take a call. Off you go. Um, Nina part de la chambre pour pouvoir um, prendre un appel. Good. It's one thing being able to do the French. Get on it. Seriously, get on it with all the love in the world. Yeah, okay. Three missed weeks in a row. I fucking care about you massively, but anybody else, I would literally have sent one of my fucking hitmen. Don't forget my ex-father-in-law lives near you, and I would send that fuck around, and you'd be white vanned and taken somewhere. <laughs> Good. I mean it. As it is, I'm just going to set Nina and Susan on you, which is, a, you know, which is, you know, not to be undermined. Uh, off you go. Uh, Nina, Luke, um, uh, uh, um, um, he would do well to be mistrustful of us because we're powerful. He would do well to be mistrustful of us because we're powerful. Uh, il fait du bien. Literally, 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 he would do. You do very well. This, oui, this oui. would do you the power of good. You would do well. So don't do faire du bien because that is, ah, ça fait du bien. Yeah, so um, oui. literally go to you would do well. Literally okay. keep it as it is. Right. Um, il, il, fe, il ferait bien. That's euh, lovely. So are we all clear that... Um, um, uh, tu ferais, you do you do well to spend a little bit of time living, you know, with Luke. Because Luke would get you, to, you know, tu ferais bien de pas, you know, good, okay, yeah. lovely. He, he'd do well to not, or to be mistrustful of us. How would you yeah. say to be wary of us? What's the word yeah. I want here? Méfier. Lovely. So I've either got family members. So when you get to you guys' level, fa the family, oh, yes, I need the Joneses. Oh, yes, I need the whatevers. Which family member? All right. Um, Susan kept getting this wrong a couple of weeks ago. Not this one, but another one. And I'm like, just because it starts in the same way. Oui, tu simplement parce que ça commence de la même manière, de la même manière. It doesn't mean it's the same family member. Ça veut pas forcément dire que c'est la même personne de la famille. And I was like, Susan. And I knew, I knew it would wind up. And I was going, Susan, honeymoon. John or John's dad? And she's like, oh my God, that's terrible. I was like, well, it's that shocking when you... <laughs> Keep using an rather than a verb, my love. It's that shocking to me. <laughs> she got it right after that. So in other words, is it, do I want méfier? Do I want se méfier de? Or do I want méfiant, méfiante? Or even méfiance, the noun. Which okay. one do you think I want? Um, you said to be mistrustful of us, so I think it would be se méfier de nous. That's lovely. Yeah. So you can say, uh, Lachlan, tu ferais bien, or, il ferait bien d'être méfiant, or il ferait mm -hmm. bien de se, tu ferais bien de te méfier de nous. You know, um, um, mm -hmm. give me the command form. Be careful. Méfie-toi. Yeah. So there's lots of be careful, isn't there? There's fais gaffe, fais attention. Yeah. Prends soin de toi. But and this one, it's like, you know, don't be, don't be dumb. You know, méfie-toi. You know, like, you know, méfie-toi. You know. 
Yeah. Good. Um, good. Lovely. Good, Nina. Um, we're powerful. What's we're powerful? On est puissant. Good. Lovely. I'm just going to pour some acid in the sink while talking to you. This could go yeah. badly. Now, before I do that, uh, I need to, I really want to change the background so that, um, uh, now, sh I presume anything you can do on the laptop, you can do on the, no, it won't be that. Um, uh, 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 I really want to. There should be turn... something that says blur background. So if oh, no, you... no, I know the wording. It's it's in, uh, enable blur and then slide it back. Yeah. But um, because I'm on the laptop rather than on the um, uh, phone, which I normally use, I can't find the damn thing. Mm -hmm. um, oh, well, fuck it. I was I really wanted to. Sh I was so proud of my painting. It looks really nice. Uh, Lachlan, I am proud of what I've done. I really wanted to show you and I need the word on the in there. I'm really proud of what I've done. Um, um, uh, I really wanted to show you. Um, je suis très fier de, de ce que j'ai fait avec Good. ce Now, that was gorgeous, but listen, you could, by all means in this interview, get a couple of quick things in, but show, like I said, show off your vowel. The vowel will impress them more than the speed. I'm telling you that as a French speaker, not a French teacher. The vowel will impress them more than the speed. All right? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Oui, alors moi, j'ai toujours eu envie d'étudier en France, mais malheureusement, uh, ce qui s'est passé il y a deux ans, uh, tu as, j'ai pas pu venir. That's ten times better from an American student than, oui, je, je voulais venir avant, mais malheureusement, avec le Covid, j'ai pas pu venir. That's mm -hmm. ten times better. All right? Good. Um, also, if you go at that pace and you do that kind of work, any pauses they put down to you thinking that it's you thinking about what you're saying rather than how to say it. Because mm -hmm. let's be clear and frank, and I made this point to Nina a couple of months ago. I speak quite quickly for three reasons. Firstly, it's your class and you don't want to hear the Luke shit you don't hear me speaking in your class yes as a listener like yes to listen to the french but you don't hear me and my explanations again and again and again also because generally we are in this vibe of trying to get faster and faster and faster you know we can't like have a foot massage and a cigar just because we've done one tense we need tense subjunctive da, 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 phrase da, da. so the whole way that i work it's not just my personality is to try and come on come on faster faster stronger stronger quicker quicker so that things become comfortable but don't take that from me then don't copy my impetus and basically only ever go yeah mm -hmm. you know, um yeah there's, mm -hmm. there's, there's a time and a place as well if you're pissing around with friends maybe but if you're mm -hmm. in a business interview and i know do you respect you've not done a, as much of that kind of register of speech in english mm -hmm. professionally having come out of college as, as say you know you know nina or myself but it's like you ain't going to speak as quickly anyway Mm -hmm. Nina wouldn't go, well, do you know what? I've worked in the fitness industry for a while, do you know what I mean? And then when I basically do it, I went and had my kids and, da, 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 you know, my husband and I, we went to this other place, we went to Vermont and we trained and we did this, you know. You just wouldn't say this. Nina would say, well, you know, I trained as a dancer and a gymnast myself and then I became involved in the industry, which was very rewarding. And I actually was given a job opportunity. So I moved across the country and then I set up an establishment over there. We took over a training program. Yep, there was a school there and we took it. That's how we'd fucking do that shit. So mm -hmm. don't associate being slow with weakness. No, you're an adult. All right. Go. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so say for me, Luke, I've understood what you've just said. I'm not going to race. Luke, I've understood what you've just said. I'm not going to race. I'm listening to you. I'm pouring acid in the same. <laughs> so um, goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> so, it is fine. I've used this product fucking hundreds and hundreds of times. It's really fun. Um, yeah. So say for me. Um, 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 uh, Luke, I understand what you've just said. I'm not going to race. Luke, I've understood. I've understood what you've just said. I'm not going to race. Uh, Luke, uh, j'ai tout compris que ce, ce que no. tu as dit. I'm this far away. Yeah, and I can't hear you. So yeah. use your. Sing happy birthday to me. Just sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's the muscle. Yeah. Use that muscle. Use that muscle to send it forward. French is not for you. French is for me. Pardon me interrupting, Lachlan, but you are used to hearing your voice through your body. Your vibe, your ear is here, 
your vibration is here. You are here. What you perceive as your voice is your vibration through your own body. It isn't what we hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So people's voices are always flatter and thinner and less chocolatey and well-rounded than they think they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So push it forward. I'm listening. I'm I'm literally this far away from you. I need to hear it. Off you go. Luc, j'ai tout compris ce que tu as dit et je ne je ne vais pas um, je je vais ralentir mon mon vitesse. Good. Do so. Listen to your own advice. That was really good. Take another step in exactly the same direction vocally. Remain in the previous con. Remain in the previous vowel. Before you move on, um, rem before, um, um, remain, remain in the um, remain in the. Uh, oh, uh, does it come back close? Uh, yeah, remain in the um, uh, remain in the uh, remain in the previous vowel. Um, it's wow. honest. It's not a good um, container for that. <laughs> Nina, save me. I try to use um, environmentally friendly shit all the time. I try to use environmentally friendly shit all the time. But sometimes you need a bit of chemical. J'essaie d'utiliser les choses qui est... Écologique. Thank you. Um, ecologique, uh, mais... um, socially, Nina, the meme, the whole cultural thing in French is bio. Everything comes down to bio. Yeah. It's okay. not organic, but it's like if I say gluten, they all go, oh, yeah, rayon bio, because in the supermarket, it will be in the organic aisle. So mm -hmm. anything a bit like baba cool, hippie, yeah, yeah. baba cool. Um, don't confuse baba cool and bobo. So baba cool is like hippies and bobo is like well, it was kind of the yuppies, but it's more like kind of like, you know, the hipsters. Do you oh. know what I mean? Like, you know, like a uh, little um, uh, um, 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 uh, um, yeah. Um, um, sorry, I've got an alarm thing going off. One second. Um, mm, uh, Ah, piss off. Um, oh, I've got Robbie's um, recommended another friend, and um, I know I shouldn't say this because people know that they're on my waiting list, but um, I really want to work this person. Um, um, uh, yeah, she sounds cool. Uh, right, just give me one second. Good. Um, Nina, I need to let it act. I need to let it act. Which is me helping you. <laughs> I need to let it act. Yeah, I need to leave it to do its thing. I need to let it act. I'm helping you in breath. Yeah. Not as in like, but mommy, I want to go on the stage. I mean, as in I need to put the, <laughs> I need to do the, um, yeah, and I, I'm, that's how you say, I need, to, I need to let it do its thing. I need to let it act. Okay. Uh, J'ai besoin de, de le permettre de, de le mer. J'ai besoin de le permettre de d'agir. Pause. If it were permettre, what's the relationship with the person you are allowing? Is that direct or indirect? Indirect. Because general rule, sentences with things and non-things, people go indirect and things, yeah. So, je devrais lui permettre. Lui permettre, oui. But why is le permettre in your mouth? Can you give me a sentence with le permettre in your mouth? Can you give me a sentence with le permettre and tell me the context? Um... Okay, with allow, we've talked oh, about... Okay the person and the verb that you'd allow them. So, Lachlan, okay. I'm going to allow him to ask the question in English. Je vais lui permettre de poser la question en anglais. Stop clicking, Luke, it kills your joints. Hmm. But I could allow him alcohol. You know, uh, I, sh I would fucking encourage it. Alors, je vais lui permettre whatever, cig. 
Okay, she's seven. But you know, in Europe, I'd say, have a teaspoon of wine and tell me what you think. Okay, um, uh, in LA, she, I'd be arrested. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, uh, yeah, please, we used to drink like, what was it called? Um, colic, colic, like um, gripe water for colic was like 25% proof or something back in the day. Um, uh, lovely. So in other words, don't forget um, that these things like I'm going to ask him to do some stuff. I'm going to allow him to do some stuff. I'm going to tell him to do some stuff. We very heavily worked the version with the person and then the infinitive. But we could have a version with or without the person with the noun. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to I'm going to allow him you know, drinking on the, on the, on the trip. Alors, je vais, you know, je vais le lui permettre. Or je vais lui, je vais lui permettre qu'une seule fois. I'm going to allow him one time of this. Do you know what I mean? So it's just, it's just muscle memory wise. Some verbs have both a lui and a le, don't they? Do you know what I mean? So with that in mind, say for me, drink, um, um, smoking, I don't allow it. Smoking, I don't allow it. Euh, fumer, euh, je le permets pas. That's it. Or le tab, if you want to use the, hang on, I need to open a window, it's smelling a little bit sulfury. Um, le tabagisme, le tabagisme. Le yeah, tabag le tabagisme. Um, uh, good, uh, le tabagisme, je le permets, um, whatever, you know. Uh, Lachlan, say for me, um, um, these kind of errors, sorry, sorry, this, this kind of error, no, no, these errors, I don't allow them. These errors, I don't allow them. Ces erreurs, um, je ne, je ne les... That's it, je ne les permets pas. Whereas les... you're used to saying, I allow them, je leur permets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, je leur... Do you remember when we were walking around the garden center and mm -hmm. I was saying this business of the two... Things to remember in this file, not all verbs work in exactly this manner, do they? Because I'm going to ask him to do something, tell him to do something, say for him to do something. Alors je vais lui dire, je, so it's dire à a person, dire de, whatever, whatever, you know, je, je vais lui dire de. So the reason we were talking about this is the structure of the sentence could allow for a pronoun or could allow for a noun. So in other words, I might say dire à if I then go into the person, or I might say dire de if I then go into the verb. So I'm going to ask Nina to give it to the others. Je vais demander à Nina. Je vais lui demander de le donner aux autres. So, so that's why our mouth needs to get used to both methods. It's all, we can use dictionary infinitive, demander, you know, permettre à quelqu'un de faire quelque chose, but sometimes we just need to know the other stuff. Then we've got things like aider. Luke, so aider quelqu'un, à faire quelque chose because you don't you know um help a thing it's a bit different you don't allow a person to do a thing you you, um, you don't allow a thing you don't help a thing you help a person to do something so subtly different but generally 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 yeah um that's that's the way of looking at it yeah this a ah, with the person de with the uh, with the verb generally generally but then sometimes like i said we've just got a singular and act, like the direct luke allows alcohol <laughs> Um, Luke asks the question. Luke says it. You know, le gros mot fuck. Good, lovely. I've got Marky Mark. Well, well done, well done. It wouldn't bloody kill him to get on here himself. Lachlan, nice level. Nice level. If you got your shit up and you didn't have a class, you would be able to come to this. But I know normally you do have to race off and get to a class. <laughs> the, guy has, the guy has emailed me. He said his train is like an hour late. Um, so... I don't know. I, I wonder if he's gonna. He said, "Je suis désolé, je montre qu'il y a une heure de retard. Je serai pas là avant heure. Bien à vous." No, I. Je suis désolé, il y a montre qu'il y a. Say it again. Give me the vowels. I can't hear you. I, I, it's my language, and I can't hear you. <laughs> All right, guys. I have to go. Thank you, Luke. Good to see you, Lachlan. Ah, uh, yes. You, you don't said, read it out for me, Lachlan. He said, uh, "Je suis désolé. J'ai mon train qui a une heure de retard. Je une, serai une pas heure là. de retard. Une heure de retard. À une heure de retard. Je serai pas là avant deux. 
So he's not going to be there. A vanta, but he hasn't said when he will be there. So I think that's an, um, a, a, a cancellation, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it sounded like to me because he didn't like suggest. So listen, like, this is what you're going to say back. Uh -huh. Bonjour. Merci de me l'avoir communiqué. Uh -huh. Thank you for having sent it to me. Yeah, you some merci de me l'avoir. Uh, uh, um, um, you know, uh, je vous remercie. Um, um, uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, j'attends, j'attends votre réponse. You know, like, please tell me when you will be available. Merci mm -hmm. de me dire, or merci de me communiquer, you know, faire communiquer. Quand vous serez disponible. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Will be in the form. Um, J'attends votre whatever avec impatience. I'm looking forward to your thing. Mm -hmm. Cordialement, cordialement. You don't need to do a je vous prie d'agréer mes salutations distinguées. You don't need that. So cordialement, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Good. Get your shiz in order. All right. All right. Yeah. Good. Thank Keep you. Keep your phone by you. Keep your phone by you because I might call you later. All right. Loads okay. of All right. Thank you.